Curtis, Jamie Lee, and Comet here. Um, there's a super messy face, so I'm expecting veggies all over me soon. But I wanted to answer your question because it's really intense. It's super long to recap, but basically you get bit seriously, like injured and bruised and broken skin every single day from your bird. And um, it's an African gray who's four years old. And basically you can't get him to hang out content because he's not very well desensitized. So everything scares him or makes him angry and basically causes a negative reaction that he takes out on you. So your question basically is like, do you continue to, to take him out and get bit or you know, do you lock him up in the cage? And I think there's a happy medium. Um, I definitely think right now because of his negative reactions, it's probably too much freedom. Um, and I say that because it's not exactly positive having him out if he's so scared or so, um, so scared that it makes him aggressive really. Um, because you wouldn't want to spend a lot of time in a place that you're freaked out about. So it's not exactly positive for him to be out of his cage, which is more a safe place, um, when he's so fearful of his environment. So I would take the desensitizing a little bit slower. Um, introduce him to one new thing a day and you got to make it positive. So I'm going to do it with Comet actually. Man, I'd have to grab some treats. I'll do it with Comet. I'll grab some treats and I'll show you what it looks like. He's probably going to yell when I leave. So hold on. Got my clicker. <laughs> ah. Okay. Ah. So we're gonna try this. Um, Comet's full, so I don't know how motiva motivated he will be, but the training will still get across. So. What you need to do with your bird is find its favorite treats, get a clicker, and get um, objects that won't hurt him, obviously. So, Comet has never seen this object before. <laughs> it's a little kid's ice cream cone plastic thing. So I'm gonna introduce it and see how he reacts and talk you guys through it. You see? Good. So I was slow to click, I just kind of forgot. But that was great, he's not scared of it, right? So, and I can bring it up and I'm trying to make it a little scarier and he doesn't care. So, good job, good job, buddy. Um, let's try a different object. I want you to actually see something that would make him wig out a little bit so that we can get more where you're coming from. So, random things okay so normally you would do one thing a day I would stop there but nail polish he doesn't care screwdriver thing okay so that that was a little bit more nervous we're gonna work with this I think it's a wine opener okay it's okay it's okay So that's him just being calm about it now. He's kind of like fluffed up. And this is what you do with new objects. That's a little nervous. Hey, coming. Good boy, good job, buddy. So that time I gave him two um, because he touched it. Do you know what I need you to do? <gasps> Good boy, Comet. Good job, buddy. Ooh, what was that? Something outside? Ooh. 
we are surrounded by windows, so surrounded by distractions. Good job. So now you can see, like, I actually put it up to him. Yeah, he doesn't care anymore. So that's where you want to get with the objects and the things. Um, so I'm not going to bring any more to him because I don't want him to be scared, but I think one a day, like doing that with one thing a day. So the bird reacts negatively to something and you find that something and then you slowly work it in. And with this one new thing a day, I'm not opposed to using luring. So like you, like you saw that I just used there, I held a treat kind of over the wine opener thing and he grabbed it and that made him a little bit more comfortable. And it's really important you don't like wiggle it or move it. So <laughs> it's not freaky in that sense because it's already scary as is. But slowly desensitize your bird to one new thing a day keeping it positive so he overcomes that and then he becomes a more confident bird overall. The other thing that I would strongly suggest is if you really want to have your bird out because you feel guilty it's it's in its cage, um, I think that you should either, I think you should invest in a foraging tree. They're really, really amazing. I know they're expensive. You might be able to have somebody locally make you one, um, but they're super awesome because you can put foraging treats, like foraging toys on there, <clears throat> and that will keep your bird busy and occupied and self-entertaining while you're doing something. So if he is busy and he has something to do, I know you said, you said he's scared of toys, um, you can do super basic foraging. I have a really good video called, I think it's like Foraging Basics 101 or something like that. And basically you can start with um, a food dish <clears throat> and you could put it on your foraging tree and whatever food is in there just crumple up some pieces of paper and put it in there so that he has to either throw them out or move them to the side to get to the food that he wants and then the next day make those pieces larger and larger and small in all different sizes and then the next day just throw like a normal piece of paper over the dish I know it'll be super easy he'll just blow it over or whatever he'll just grab it and toss it right off the next day put like a rubber band to hold on to hold that piece of paper on and, and poke through with holes so he can like rip through and then eventually don't poke through with holes and and just keep going from there and keep building um foraging even basic like that will eventually lead your bird to using um like major foraging toys that get harder and harder and harder and keep your bird busier and busier and busier so that you can get your stuff done and you won't feel guilty because he won't be inside his cage but he won't be having such negative experiences because he's gonna have his own work to do. Um, a lot of the times we're like, oh, we don't want our birds to be in the cage, but you have to really remember that it's not about the, the um, quantity of time that your bird is spending out of its cage. It's about the quality of that time your bird is spending out of the cage. So you could have it out for 24 hours, but if 22 of those hours are super negative because your bird's fearful of everything, it's not a really good experience. It's not really good to have your bird out that much. But if you have your bird out for say two hours and he's foraging and he's having fun and he's really liking it and then he just is exhausted from all the busy work that he just sits there and preens, that's like good quality time spent out of the cage. That's worthwhile. So just keep that in mind and don't feel guilty for your bird spending time in the cage. Um, as long as you give them cool stuff to do to enjoy their cage, they're pretty good. His face is hilarious. I don't think you guys can really see it. So you've got to see his beak. Look at that. If you would stay still, oh my goodness. But yeah, so I hope that makes sense and gets you going in the right direction. Just remember, like, if your bird is completely devouring you on a daily basis, um, you need to stop whatever you're doing and just kind of reconfigure, go back to basics. Um, we don't want anybody getting bit, and we don't want the bird in the emotional state that it's in to be giving all the bites. So, hope this helps. Sorry it was super long. I don't know how to do short answers. <laughs>